Lucky yeah. no one was hurt. That was kind of scary. So, mean. so they're brothers. That sounds like something brothers would do, doesn't <laughs> it? Does. It does. <laughs> All right. Well, we did pick up a little bit of snow with this past storm system in Towski Valley, one of those places that did do at least decent for snow. Picked up about six inches here. And you can see that all the skiers very happy with all the fresh powder on the ground. And this has actually been a fairly nice winter with just a couple of storms coming in about every week or so. We've been actually doing pretty good for snowfall over the north. Meanwhile, in Albuquerque, we are seeing lots of sunshine, but it is on the breezy side. Temperature right now at 40 degrees, but the winds out of the northwest at 17 miles per hour. Over the north, we are rather chilly. We're in the 30s as you move over to Taos and Los Alamos. Alamosa at 32 degrees, but as you move down to the south, we start to warm things up. We're at 45 in Clovis, 48 in Tufankari, and even reaching the 50s down into the south. 64 is the current temperature in Carlsbad, but the winds are on the brisk side. We have a 40 mile per hour wind gust right now in Tucumcari, 48 mile per hour wind gust in Clovis, 43 in Las Vegas, 26 in Santa Fe. So the eastern part of the state is definitely the area to watch for the high winds, and we do have high wind warnings for the east central parts of New Mexico. Wind advisories for the rest of the eastern sections of the state, and we do have wind advisories just east of the metro as you move along I-40 and areas just south of there. Taking a look at the wind forecast through the afternoon, strongest winds once again right in the central portions of the eastern part of New Mexico. But as we move into the overnight hours, we'll start to see the winds die down, especially as we move into the late evening. And then we'll look for at least another breezy day tomorrow, but not near as bad as what we saw today. And we'll continue to see at least breezy conditions through the rest of the week, but we will be looking at lots of sunshine. Right now, satellite and radar showing mostly sunny skies across the entire state. We do have a few clouds hanging on over the northern mountains, but all the precip has has moved out of the state as that storm system continues to move well to the north and east of here. We are starting to break out into lots of sunshine. And we will have another disturbance past north of the state as we move through tomorrow, but we're not looking at much from this, this from this storm system. Maybe a couple of spot showers over the northern mountains for tomorrow, but that is about it. So that storm system now moving out of the state. We are looking for windy conditions throughout the afternoon and then into tomorrow. We're looking for partly cloudy skies as that disturbance passes to the north and then we're looking at mostly sunny skies through the rest of the week. So so after seeing a very persistent storm pattern over the past couple of weeks, we do start to calm things down for this upcoming work week. Over southern Colorado for today, temperatures on the cold side, only in the 30s with mostly sunny skies. Look at Alamosa's low for tonight, only zero degrees. And then we warm up a little bit into Tuesday with partly cloudy skies, mostly sunny Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with temperatures mainly in the 40s. We watch for our next chance of snow as we move late in the day on Sunday. Over the northwest, temperatures here in the 30s and 40s with mostly sunny skies. It will be on the windy side and it will be chilly, but we do start to warm things up in Farmington back into the low 50s by Wednesday and Thursday. And we stay in the 50s into at least the first half of the weekend and then more clouds with that next system approaching on Sunday. Southwest temperatures here in the 50s and 60s with mostly sunny skies, only 47 for a high in Silver City. But even Silver City makes it into the 50s as we move through the rest of the work week and even into the 60s by the upcoming weekend. Over the south and east, it is going to be windy this afternoon. Winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. We're looking for mostly sunny skies throughout much of the work week with temperatures warming up into the 70s by Thursday then settling back into the 60s for the weekend. Winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour, especially along the I-40 corridor in the northeast for this afternoon. Temperatures anywhere from 4, 34 in Mora all the way up to the 50s in Conscious and Tucumcari. Next chance of showers on Thursday, then we get a break into the first half of the weekend before another chance of showers on Sunday. Northern mountains this afternoon. It will be cold here with winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour. It's going to feel even colder than these temperatures of the 20s in Red River and Angel Fire into the 30s elsewhere, 43 for Espanola. We warm up a little bit this week, but we stay partly to mostly sunny throughout the rest of the week. Over the East Mountains, temperatures here in the 30s and 40s, feeling much colder with winds gusting up to 55 miles per hour. In the metro, we'll see winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour with temperatures in the 40s. And then as we move through the next seven days, we are looking for partly the mostly sunny skies. So it does look like the weather pattern is starting to change. We're starting to move into spring with more sunshine and unfortunately more, more wind. wind. Yep. Oh, we don't like those, nope. but thanks a lot, John. Yep.